Hey guys, it's Sarah. If you're new here and you enjoyed the strange and unusual, please like and subscribe. And if you are usual here, thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and sharing. I am almost at 80 subscribers now, which is fantastic. And I am so proud of, and I'm getting closer and closer to my goals and my dreams. And hopefully can kind of pursue them more. Um, so before I get into today's subject, uh, if you ever watch my Facebook Lives, which I know a lot of you do, I do readings, which they are very short and sweet readings, not very in-depth, um, but soon I will be doing more in-depth readings for $5 that are private sessions. If you are interested, message me on my Facebook Live, Insta. Or message me in the comments for any links. Um, but I'm going to be starting that. So I'm very happy about that. And just let me know. Um, but today's subject is going to be on the Chupacabra, which is centered in Latin America. If you know more about it and you see this video, please let me know. Um, my knowledge is very limited. I tried to look for stories. The stories are limited or they were very iffy. <laughs> but I am very excited for today's video. And if you have anything to say, message me or uh, comment below. But I hope you enjoy and we're gonna dive on in. <laughs> The Chupacabra A chupacabra is a vampire-like creature that's roots are in Latin America. Although, stories about it, though, have been spread throughout America. Sightings have been seen in Puerto Rico, Brazil, Chile, Mexico, and the U.S. Majority of the activity is in Puerto Rico. The name in Spanish means goat sucker due to the fact of killing livestock. Now, the description of a chupacabra is four to five foot creature with large eyes, spikes down its back, and long claws. Some people have described it as a, like a hairless dog with mange. Some of the earliest recordings are in newspapers dating back to the 1950s, but a number of claims were made in 1995. In 1995, a woman named Madeline Tolento from Canovas spotted an alien-like creature outside of her window. Another report is from 1995. It was made in Guanaca by a 44-year-old Oswaldo Colladio Rosado. He was grabbed from behind by a strong gorilla-like creature. He had to be treated after fighting it off due to cuts and scratches around his torso. Nearby his attack, cows and chickens died by a single wound to the neck. What are some of the theories behind what a chupacabra is? What are some of the beliefs behind it? One of the first being, it is a coyote with an infected parasite called Ceratops scavi, which causes a loss of hair, thicker skin, and it to cause a bad odor. 
The second one is, it was made in a government lab by possibly the military. The third being, it might be an alien-like creature with a taste for blood. And the last being, a supernatural occult-like creature possibly summoned in a ritual. It is believed chupacabras mainly target livestock. It is thought that they attack livestock due to no longer being able to hunt animals in the wild. And livestock being a tame and easy target, they tend to attack them. The two types of chupacabras seen have been described as either one, a sharp-toothed canine that walks on all fours and is typically seen as hairless. The second is described as an alien that's scaly, like an alien pretty much that you would see on the X-Files or you would hear about in a documentary type case. Now, to sum this up, what makes chupacabras different is the thing that makes chupacabras different is the evidence of possible bodies that pops up. Possible corpses. Anytime you look up a picture, there's a possibility. Whereas with, like, Bigfoot, it's possibly a costume. With ghosts, it might be just the lighting. With aliens... You're not necessarily sure, but there's still a corpse. Even if it's a dog with mange, it's still more of a possibility than there has been with the others. Well, guys, that is it for this video on Chupacabras. I hope you enjoyed and this is kind of my first dig into of chupacabras. I hope to discover more about it. Um, I'm new to kind of cryptid type creatures. If you have any comments or you know more about it, possibly you have family in Latin America, Mexico, Brazil, Puerto Rico, anywhere like that, and you'd like to share a story, please do. And as always, tune in to my next video, and I appreciate it so much. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share.